Welcome to Know Your Mobile. I'm Basil. This is a Huawei Ascendant D2 and this is a Google Nexus 4 made by LG and we're here to give you a quick comparison of how these two compare side by side. We're going to kick off with design and the Google Nexus 4 is quite a thick device but it's very very elegant glass front and back um, and all in all it's a buttonless fascia, beautiful speckle backing, very characteristic device. The Huawei Ascend D2 is considerably less individual. It looks a little bit like an iPhone, a little bit like a Samsung Galaxy S2. Um, it, it's got a very large surface area in terms of the 5 inch full HD display. Around the sides is a silver banding. It's not glossy silver, it's a matte silver banding. And on the back is the 30 megapixel rear facing camera. Um, as far as how it feels in the hand, despite being 5 inches, the back is quite curved and it does sit very, very comfortably. The Google Nexus 4, however, has a flat backing and isn't quite as comfortable in the hand, however, has much more forgiving corners. As far as ports go, on the Google Nexus 4 you've got a power button and that's pretty much it on the left side. On the right side is a volume rocker and a micro SIM and check slot and down below is a micro USB port. Up at the top is the 3.5mm headphone jack. Apologies for all the background noise by the way. On the reverse is the sparkle spangled backing and a 8 megapixel rear facing camera along with a flash. If we move on to the Huawei Ascend D2, we've got that gorgeous 5 inch display on the front. We've also got a front facing camera. Um, but that's about it in terms of buttons. On the left side are no buttons whatsoever, while to the right is a power button and a volume rocker. Down below, loudspeaker, 3.5mm headphone jack, and up top is the charging port and the micro SIM eject tray. On the reverse, 13 megapixel camera and rear facing flash. All in all, as we said, the Google Nexus 4 feels more characteristic, however the Huawei SND2 is more solid. It doesn't feel quite as hollow. Which you prefer is, of course, going to be down to you. Moving on to the displays, and you've got a 720p display on the Google Nexus 4. It is a beautiful 4.7 inch display, however the Huawei Ascend D2 does trumpet thanks to its full HD display and its PPI of about 443, making it amongst the sharpest out there. Now moving on to the user interface, and both run Android, Android Jelly Bean. The Huawei Ascend E2 doesn't have quite as late as newer version as the Google Nexus 4. However, it still is the latest version, i.e. Jelly Bean in sort of sorts, sorry. Um, Huawei have laid over their custom skin on top of Jelly Bean, and they've done away with a couple of things that we really take for granted. That one of these is the App Store. If we zoom in, we can see that Google's App Store is nowhere to be seen. If we want to access it, we're going to have to actually add files to a folder in a quite convoluted way. It's quite odd for, um, to get to grips with. So if we have the folder in, click plus, this is the only way we can access all our applications. Having said that, it might take some getting used to and we'll have to get this in for review before we give you anything too conclusive. Also, the bar at the bottom will actually disappear if we choose uh, to press the button to the left hand side. If we want to make that reappear, we just swipe up. This maximizes screen space. In contrast, you have a completely stock Android experience on the Google Nexus 4. You've got your app store that you know and love, you've got that bar at the bottom and it ain't going anywhere. Well in all, we have to say first impressions, we really do prefer stock Android, sorry Huawei, but you know, you guys might prefer what Huawei have done. As far as the uh, cameras of the devices go, there's an 8 megapixel Sony sensor on the reverse of the Google Nexus 4. Huawei have done some pretty decent stuff in terms of camera UI in the past, and this is coupled with a 13 megapixel sensor on the Huawei Ascend D2 Quad. Megapixels aren't everything we say time and time again though, so again we're going to have to get these in for review before anything conclusive can be said. Internals again are quite comparable. The Huawei Ascend D2 Quad is a quad for 1.5 GHz process with 2 GB of RAM, as is a Google Nexus 4. One thing it does do, however, is offer 16 GB of more internal memory than the Google Nexus 4, and the battery is almost, um, almost 1.5 times as large at 3000 mAh, which is hugely, hugely impressive. There is no microSD expandability on either, so as far as that goes, everything is very, very comparable. So that's been a quick hands-on comparison between the Google Nexus 4 from LG and the Huawei Ascend D2. Thanks for watching Now Your Mobile. If you've got any questions, please fire them in, in a comment below. Apologies once more for the background noise. Subscribe to this channel if you like it. This has been Battle at CES 2013.